So you're watching this video, hopefully, probably, because you are interested in figuring out how the exponent equation can be derived from the decay law. All right. So let's go. I'm going to start the derivation from the functional equation of decay law, which is this uh, dn dt is equal to negative lambda n. So I'm just going to bring that down with me. dn dt is equal to negative lambda n. All right, so you are here, so hopefully you will understand if the dn dt is negative, it means that n decreases with t. The gradient is negative. All right, so right now um, I'm going to think about how on earth am I going to find, basically I want to find n in terms, n as a function of t la, or n in terms of t. So I break apart the dn, okay? So I'll rearrange. One side is dn and then the other side is dt. Okay, I can choose to keep the lambda here because lambda is a constant anyway. But this n has to be moved over here. So this is 1 over n. All right, so I'm basically just rearranging. Doing a gathering of n's, having all the n's one side. The n is here, the n is here, 1 over n. Okay, moving all the n's one side and putting all the t's on the other side. Why are we doing this? Because we're going to take out the big guns called integration. We will integrate both sides. All right. So there are two ways you can do this. You can insert your boundary conditions. I personally prefer to just find the constant. It's less two right now. So integrating 1 over n dn will give us ln n. Okay. And lambda is a constant. So basically what you're integrating is actually just dt or 1, which is t. All right, so if, you are, if you're not comfortable with that, we could put your integral here. So we are integrating y. Okay, so it's negative lambda t. Don't forget, we may have a constant c at the back after integration. All right, so now I can insert the initial condition. I know when t is equal to 0, right, um, n is equal to n naught. So I'm going to plug that in. I will have ln n naught is equal to 0 plus c. So c is ln n naught. I have found my constant. My constant c is ln n naught. And I can put it back into the equation. So hence, where was it? Ln n is equal to negative lambda t plus ln n naught. This one need to arrange a bit, okay? So I'm going to uh, rearrange. I will have ln n minus ln n naught is equal to negative lambda t, okay? So ln a minus ln b, ln n minus ln n naught, can put it in a bracket, n over n naught, bring it together under the same ln, combine the ln so that it can mold together. Okay, bring the ln over. All right, the ln over become exponent. So you have n over n naught is equal to e to the power of negative lambda t. And a quick kick will bring your n naught back to the exponent. And ta-da, magic. Not magic lah. It's first order differential equation. Which is essentially magic. Differential equations are magic. All right, so that's the derivation. Hopefully, this thing is not new to you. It's fairly common in mathematics. We model a lot of things using the idea of the more of the things we have, the more chances of it occurring is greater. For example, uh, the rate of pregnancy is directly proportional to the population of female. All right. So this modeling uh, is very common all over the world. Or the rate of a customer buying is directly proportional to the number of calls you make to potential customer. The more customer you call, the more customer you have. No? All right. So the, on the only thing that changed the rate of success is lambda. All right. So this is basically just the derivation. And I think that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.